Philip McAllen, 1988, 250 newcomer race winner. I think you won two races in that first year. I did. It should have been three. It should have been three. I won the newcomers and smashed the lap record by seven miles an hour. And then in the 350 race, the junior on the Wednesday, uh, the clutch burnt out in my bike. The boys were supposed to put a new one in, didn't do it. But obviously, I didn't win that. So I came back on Friday and won the lightweight. Again, smashed the lap record by about seven miles an hour. So I had a brilliant time. And your career is obviously, you know, incredibly well documented on the mountain course. You're all riding the RC45 today. Yeah, that's my 97 double TT winner. The senior and the, you know, the F1 and the senior, or whatever they called it in those days. That's, so that's the bike that's won the races. I'm seeing the same glint in every rider's eye on here, regardless of how long it's been since you competed. What are you looking forward to the most about getting away down there? Ah, to be honest, just, you know, my days of wanting speed is over, really. So just to ride around the corners and see the people and have a bit of fun, you know. And I've asked everybody else, if somebody shows you a wheel, if that Norton shows you a wheel out there today, what will you do? Ah, we'll just let him go on, you know. Times have changed. <laughs> Years ago, I wouldn't have said that, but today we let him go on. It's a real treat for everyone, including me, Philip. Good luck. Enjoy the lap. Thank you. Philip McCallan quickly made a name for himself around the mountain course when he won the 1988 lightweight Newcomers Manx Grand Prix race and then rode the same 250 Honda to victory in the feature lightweight race. A year later, he replaced the injured Joey Dunlop at Honda Britain and after a maiden TT podium in 1991, victories came in the 92 Formula One and Supersport 600 TTs. Riding the famous RVF, RC45, CBR 600 and Honda Fireblade machinery, Further wins were taken in the F1, Supersport Senior and production races to make it 11 wins in total. Injury brought his career to an end in 1999 when he took a 19th TT podium. A regular visitor to the TT and Manx Grand Prix, Philip joins us today riding his own factory RC45 Honda.
picking up after what I imagine was a really, really enjoyable lap, Philip. How was it? Brilliant. You know, the, the thrill of riding around again there and stuff. My biggest problem is I'm getting old, right? So my eyes isn't telling my brain <laughs> fast enough what to do, you know, and it's the truth. You know, the first time you've been in a car, you've done 150 miles an hour, it's like, wowee. So, but you're just lining up one corner. I know all the corners, I know where I should be, but the brain's saying, you are here, you are here, you know. Okay. So there is a, a slight delayed signal from there to there, but absolutely brilliant to ride around again. I was being pretty careful, you know, I wasn't I wasn't my usual. Yeah, you, you. I think you babied it off the line and put four gears into it nice and steady. I'm guessing you own this bike. Well, yes, it's, 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 it's a team bike, isn't it, Dallas? And uh, so, uh, yeah, you, you don't damage stuff, you know what I mean? I've got a lot of respect for machinery, and, you know, this bike is a, you know, it's a double TT. Everything on this bike has one, two TTs, you know, so we don't want it to end up damaged or that. And, and I'm too old to get damaged now too but what a thrill absolutely brilliant to ride down Bray Hill and uh, actually feel a little bit slow made you feel too safe yeah yeah what about kind of I'm guessing you would have been up on your own in the sunshine over the mountain there how was that yeah it was great you know there was no one there the only thing uh, Michael Dunlap came past nearly sideways on a on a fire blade and I'm thinking here you know, is that, is that what a, Michael does. Yeah, is, is that a Marshall? And uh, so no, he was going good. But apart from that, it was just brilliant to get riding the course again. You would, what you really want is half a dozen times round. One it gives you that little bit of taste for it, and you want more. But look, I'd have to go home tonight, figure it all out, and then get back out tomorrow. Ever the racer, Philip. Thanks very much. Thank you.